Hello, I'm Father Ken Beal, Executive Director of Faith on Fire Missions. It's hard to believe that for some, the summer has already ended and school has begun. The back to school sale started midsummer. Notebooks, number two pencils, book bags, rulers. Am I dating myself with this list? I attended Old PH, Our Lady of Perpetual Help Grammar School in Brooklyn, New York, which was just two blocks from where I lived. I didn't have to wait on the corner for a school bus or bring a bag lunch. I would just go home at noon and return at one. I would walk to school with my friends, comparing completed homework assignments. Once in the schoolyard, we would have about 20 minutes to start a quick game of handball or tag or wiffle ball. Although there were many things I liked about school, there were many things I found difficult and challenging. Truthfully, I looked forward to graduation when I would be able to hang up my book bag. But I went from grammar school to high school, high school to college, college to graduate school. As a priest, and especially when I was a chaplain and officer in the military, it seemed as if I was constantly required to learn new things, and that school would never be out for the summer. Prior to a deployment, I was required to access the ADLS, Advanced Distributed Learning Service website, and complete 20 plus courses. I was also required to complete both the hands-on self-aid buddy care and the sea burning, the chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear course. The object of both courses is to provide examples of hazard and protective actions. Whether online or hands-on, the bottom line for each of these courses is to provide the required knowledge to survive. And who could argue with that? There have been many times as a priest when I've learned a valuable lesson from the faithful. One day I was called out to the combat support hospital to anoint a young Marine who had been wounded by an IED, improvised explosive device. He had just arrived in Afghanistan and was on his first patrol in Sangin, a hotbed of insurgent activity in volatile Helmand province. He looked up at me, smiled, and thanked me for being there. His hope and faith and his desire to return to his unit, his family in the field, was humbling. What a lesson learned. I guess the harsh reality is that the school bell will never stop ringing. That although we might literally be able to hang up that school bag, figuratively, it will always hang on our shoulder. The lessons I have learned since graduation have been immense. The many teachers who have crossed my path I thank God for every day that no matter how old or young we are, that no matter how many academic degrees or training certificates are framed on our wall, as long as we are living, thinking, and breathing human beings, we will be placed in situations, whether or not we like it, where we will be challenged or forced or voluntarily choose to be open to the opportunity to learn, learn, and learn some more. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For more information about the music you hear, the missions we preach, or anything else, drop us a note at faithonfiremissions.org or our Facebook page.